Hi guys, how are you doing? In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display output to the screen in C++ using the Cout object. Right? Objects are tools that we can use within the programming language that enable us to do certain things. Right? So, uh, in this course in CS1160, we're going to make use of different objects to do different things. It's beyond the scope of this class to explain much more than what I've said. That is that uh, objects help us to accomplish certain things. If you go on to 2360, we'll learn more about them and you'll be able to create your own. But for now, just think of an object as kind of a robot that we can give instructions to and it will uh, do some work for us. Okay, so in this in this video, we're going to make use of the Cout object. Uh, this robot's going to help us display stuff to the to the screen. Okay, so in order to get access to this object to this robot, we have to use this preprocessor directive pound include io stream. Okay, if we don't have this line line five uh, in our program, then we don't have Cout. Okay, so make sure that you do a pound include of IO stream. All of our programs we're going to have using namespace std, and all C++ programs are going to have int main. All right, at the beginning we have our header information, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the basic way we use Cout is we begin our statement uh, with this object name Cout. Okay. And then we use this operator right here to pass instructions to the Cout object. Okay. And the name of this operator, by the way, it's the excuse me, the stream insertion operator. Okay. So let's just do uh, a simple output, string output. Okay. Again, hello world. Okay. All right. So. With this statement, what we're doing is we're passing the string literal, okay? Any words we type that are in between double quotes uh, is known as a string literal, okay? And this string literal is being sent to the Cout object uh, via the stream insertion operator, all right? So we use the stream insertion operator to send commands to our Cout object, and in this case, we're sending it the, the uh, hello world string, okay, the string literal. So Cout is then going to display hello world to the screen for us, okay? So let's let's build it and run it and see that in action, okay? There we go, hello world, there it is, okay? So uh, in C++, it's a very expressive language, so there's many ways we can do things, all right? So let me show you some other ways we can use Cout. So if I wanted to break up Hello World, uh, if I wanted to write this in a different way, I could do this. Okay. Hello World. Oops. Hello World. Okay. This is going to give me pretty much the same, the same output. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so let's run it. Okay. We have Hello World and Hello World. They're on the same line, um, which is kind of annoying. But the thing is, is that hello world and hello world, both statements, even though they're written differently, they do the same thing. Okay? It's just that with uh, the second Cout statement on line 14, we've broken up the string literals into two separate strings. Right? There's two separate string literals here. So we can pass as many string literals as we want uh, to a Cout object. All we have to do is separate them between, uh, or with these uh, string insertion operators. Okay, so what if I don't want this to happen where they're all stuck on the same line? Well, I have a couple of options. I can use something known as an IO manipulator, okay? And uh, we'll use the end line IO manipulator, ENDL, okay? So what this is doing, what we're going to do is we're going to now send a string literal to the Cout object, and it's going to print out a hello world for us. And then we're going to send this end line string literal 
or excuse me, it's not a string literal, it's an IO manipulator. We're going to send that to C out as well. Okay, and so that's just going to put a new line character at the end of flow world, and that'll move the cursor to the next line, and then this C out statement will uh, print out hello world on the, on the new line. Okay, so let's build it and run it. Okay, so first string literal printed on the first line. Okay, then a new line character endl uh, is put there. Okay, thanks to the endl IO manipulator. The next C out statement okay, prints hello world, then it pr prints hello, excuse me, and then it prints world. Okay, so now we know how to move to the next line. All right, but <clears throat> we can we can uh, use something known as an escape sequence to do the same thing as end line up here. Okay, so let me write another C N statement here. Okay, so I'll just write my name. Okay, so if I do this, then I'm going to print out hello world. It's going to go to the next line. It's going to write hello world again. But then it's just going to attack Hank on at the end, okay? which is not what I want. I want Hank on a third line all by itself. So let's use an escape sequence to help us do that. Okay, slash n. Okay, so slash n is just like in line except for it goes inside the string literal. Okay, so anything with this backward slash, the immediate character after it is going to be an escape sequence. So in this case, n signifies new line. So we're saying, you know, tack on a new line at the end of the world. Right, so let's, let's run it. Okay, and there we go. Now it's on three separate lines. Okay, there are many different escape sequences, and we'll talk about them uh, as we go forward. But let me just show you another one here. Okay, slash t is going to insert a tab between a world and world. Okay, see how there's a space here now? All right. Okay, so I can do all of these things in the separate in separate C out statements if I want to, but I don't have to. Okay, I can combine them all into one all into one statement. Okay. This is how you do it. I can send as many things as I want to see out in one line, so long as I am separating them with these stream insertion operators. Okay, so now let's run this again. Okay, see the exact same output. I just wrote it differently. Okay, if C++ isn't confusing enough for you, uh, there's always more than one way to do something. Okay, so that concludes our brief uh, video on using the Cout object. Okay. Um, moving forward, we will talk about identifiers uh, in the next video, and we'll see how to. Uh, excuse me. We'll talk about identifiers. And we'll also talk about variables and all these other things, and how we can use Cout to display our variables. Okay. So if you have any questions, as always, shoot me an email, ask in class, or uh, see me during office hours. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.